Hello everyone. In this video, we will see how to identify the objects from the finalized requirement and how to find out the relationship between them. And this is the major and the key part of your application development. Let it be a web app or Windows app, irrespective to that you need to identify the objects and find out the relationship between them for any kind of project and this is the crucial role of an architect so if you understand how to break the requirement into objects and the relationship then you can do everything and this comes with the experience as you keep on developing projects you find that you are becoming more and more good in identifying the objects and the relationship so for our project let us try to understand how to identify the objects and how to make the relationships so here we have the finalized requirement that we have already seen in our earlier video if you observe this requirement we can say that there are two key roles who are going to access my application or you can say two key types of users who will be accessing my app one is an admin another is a student because admin has all the rights to create workshop to delete workshop to approve a student or deny a student from attending a workshop and upload the material create trainers and delete trainers everything so admin can access my app one kind of user and another is a student the student can view edit and delete the details of their own after getting their password they can change their password they can download the material they can apply for the workshop they can view the status of the workshop so finally we can come to a conclusion that there are two key roles of my project one is an admin another is a student now admin can perform some tasks and student can perform some tasks so we are simplifying the requirements by defining roles and the responsibilities so here role is an admin and admin can create trainers so create read update or delete so in our it world we use this term frequently that is crud operations admin can create read update or delete workshops admin can perform all these operations on material admin can perform all these operations on students fine we have simplified this so, admin can assign a workshop to the trainer admin can approve the request from the registered student to attend the workshop so these are the requirements and there is assumption we are moving with an assumption this need to be clarified with the client so we can also move with few assumptions that need to be written in the docs so as of now we are moving with an assumption multiple workshops can be assigned to the trainer and multiple trainers can have same workshop assigned it means what one trainer can take multiple workshops and in one workshop multiple trainers can deliver their training so we have simplified into some points coming to the next role that is a user or a student what a student can do new student should register for the first time to send a request to attend the workshop an old student can log in and send a request to attend the workshop another workshop now there is one more thing student can update their own details after logging in once they get once they become old student they can log in and they can update their own details student can download the materials for the attended workshops yes like student uh, who has attended the workshop can log in and download the material for that specific workshop student can view the status of the request of the workshop like they have applied for the workshop now they can see whether their request got approved or rejected or still it is in pending now there is one more assumption with this multiple student can attend a workshop and a single student can attend multiple workshops that means in one workshop i can have a number of students and a student can attend a number of workshops 
so this is the assumption that we are uh, moving with normally this is common thing so finally we have defined roles and responsibilities student as well as admin now our next part is identifying the objects now if you can just observe this you can easily list out the objects and the objects are as follows admin trainer student workshop and material so we have identified the objects now the next thing is i need to create the relationship between these objects say i want to create the relationship between trainer and workshop so what do i do this is uh, the normal logic that i follow or i train my students to follow initially to understand how to create the relationship between them now let us go with one n one is a trainer n is at workshop let us read out one trainer can deliver n number of workshops yes that is true next n number of trainers can deliver on the same workshop yes sure like in a workshop you can have n number of trainers half of the part is being dealt by one trainer and rest by another trainer yeah that is fine if one to n and n to one is fine it means that it is n to n relationship now what is the relationship between trainer and workshop it is many to many fine let us see admin and workshop yes one admin can create a number of workshops so it is one to many next as we have seen just now trainer and workshop it is many to many student and workshop yeah one student can attend a number of workshops and one workshop can be attended by a number of students so that's fine many to many finally material and workshop can one material belongs to a number of workshop in our scenario no can one workshop have a number of materials yes so the relationship is one to many from workshop to material if from material to workshop yes many materials can belongs to a single workshop so anyway these are all business requirements so in some other uh, organization if they have different business requirement then it may differ so relationships depend on the business requirements so i got all these relationships so let us summarize our objects and relations so we have got the objects like admin trainer student workshop and material and the relationships we got admin and workshop that is one to many trainer and workshop many to many student and workshop many to many material and workshop many to one so i have tried to cover all the relationship whatever may be the project size let it be a project for microsoft organization say dynamics or let it be a very small project say this one or smaller than this with two tables or with a single form or a single page if it has a database it will have only these two kinds of relationships one to many and many to many and there will be one more relationship one to one so uh, basically that we will see at the time of designing database and it is it is very simple one to one need not to be listed separately like a student will have a student id so relationship between the student id and student is one to one so student id will become part of student so the major thing that you need to understand is one to many and many to many so whatever may be the project size let the project have 200 tables or 200 objects they will have one of these two relationships one to many or many to many that's it so in our next video we will see how to break these objects and relationships into a database design which is very simple so that's it for this video thank you very much